Hi guys, my name's Rob Barrett. You're watching Cooking for Dads. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a great all-purpose yeasty bread dough that you can use for so many things. You can do a roll, you can do like a French loaf, you can even make pizza with it. Super easy, it's good for almost anything. Bread sticks, for instance, here's how you do it. Start with one cup of hot water, about 105 degrees to be exact, or about just as hot as you can take it. Okay, to that hot water, add two spoonfuls of active dry yeast. Now, if you're short on time and you only have like about an hour, you can do three spoonfuls and it'll go faster. We're gonna let this rise for two hours or so, so make sure you have that kind of time. Also, add a little bit of sugar, stir that together. We want this to turn all nice and foamy. If it doesn't, we did something wrong. And then in a large mixing bowl, put all your dry ingredients. We're gonna stir them together. Three and a quarter cups of flour. three spoonfuls of sugar, three spoonfuls of olive oil, then the secret ingredient, one quarter cup of cold milk. Now we're gonna take a fork and stir that stuff all together so that it gets evenly combined. Okay, our yeast is activated, nice and foamy. We're gonna pour all that in here. Scrape out any extra that we need. And stir that together with a fork until it just basically comes together. Now either put it on your KitchenAid with your dough hook or pour it out on the countertop and knead it by hand. I'm kind of hooked on just doing this. So we're gonna put that on low, lock it down, and let it knead it for seven minutes. But after one minute, we're gonna come back and check it and see how sticky or not sticky it is. Okay, one minute's gone by, we're gonna check it. It should be sticky, wet, but not too sticky. That's just a little bit too, see that sticking to my finger, too much. So we're gonna add a little flour, keep the flour by, but another scoop of flour in there, that should do it. That's pretty common for this recipe to add just a little bit more flour as you go in. All right, that's seven minutes. Let's check on it. Oh yeah. This dough still will be possibly a little sticky, but don't worry about it too much. It doesn't glom onto your hands. Take a look, take a look at that. See how when you stretch it, it just is silky smooth. Isn't that awesome? Okay, we're gonna take some olive oil, sprinkle it over the top, make it into a ball, spread it around, and drop it into the bowl. Cover that with plastic wrap, poke seven holes in it. I'm gonna set that aside for two hours. Now, if you've used three spoonfuls of yeast, it could probably be done in an hour, but let this double in size. Now, I have one that I did earlier. I'm gonna get that one, and we'll finish it up with that. Okay, this one's double in size. It's put pressing up against the plastic wrap. Okay, this is what I call my it's a yeasty, all-purpose dough. It's good for almost everything. We're gonna make a loaf, we're gonna make a roll, and then we're gonna make a pizza. So to make a roll, just grab a little bit of it, roll it into a ball, if you can smoothly. Put that on a cookie sheet, and we're gonna let that rise a second time. For a loaf, grab a bigger piece, make this into like a French loaf, place that on the cookie sheet, then we're gonna cover whatever we do with plastic wrap again and let it rise for at least 30 minutes before we put that into the oven. Kind of a second proofing, if you will. Well, my favorite thing to do with this dough is make pizza, of course. I'm gonna do a pan fried pizza version here. The first thing we're gonna do is get our pizza pan hot. We'll put a little olive oil down there that we're gonna spread around later. We're also gonna turn our broiler on full. This is a version I learned from the food lab at Ken Kenji. I can't remember the rest of his name, but it's a really great way of cooking pizza. All right, so we're gonna grab a handful of dough. I'm just gonna stretch it out. Kind of let gravity do the hard work for us, going around and around. It gets kind of thin, if you can see that or not. I'm gonna make it about the size of our pan. There we go, okay. Lay that out for now. Let's come over here. And lightly spread the oil around on the pan. Once that starts to smoke, then we're gonna throw in our pizza. 
Our, our pan is hot. I'm going to take our pizza. We're going to lay it right down in there. Spread it out. Immediately, we're going to put on our pizza stuff. We're going to add a little sauce. Spread that around. And you can use chopped tomatoes if you want. Now put in on any toppings that you want. I'm just going to use some sausage I cooked up earlier in the day. Do onions or whatever. And finally some cheese. Mozzarella or whatever you want. Okay, as soon as you have that put together, bring that under the broiler. The pan is hot. It's going to continue to cook even once it's in here. It's going to have our broiler on. It's going to cook from underneath from the pan and on top from the broiler. All right, so that browned up a little too fast almost. All right, all I have to do is grab it, pull it out under there. I really like this way of cooking pizza from the food lab because it gets hot on both the bottom and the top really fast. You get a nice crunch on the bottom. And this doesn't take very long to cook. It's almost all at 500 plus degrees. The key to a good crust on a bread or roll is to get a lot of steam in there, have it cooked by steam. So we're going to get a shallow pan like this, put it in the oven before we preheat it, then we're going to add hot water to it while we're cooking it. So it goes in like this. Preheat our oven to 425. All right, we've let this rise for about 20 minutes. It could be a little bit more. So it kind of forms its own shape. We're going to take a little knife here and just gently cut across some slits on our loaf, and then also on our roll, like that. We're going to spray them with a little water to get them pre-dampened. Then we're going to put them in our oven. Then we're going to get some really hot water and add that to our pan. That's going to add our steam. There we go. Close that up. Let that cook for about 11 minutes. We should be good. All right, they're nice and golden brown. I'm going to pull them out, turn off the oven. We're going to remove them from this right away so they don't continue to cook. Here's our little French loaf. Ah, oh, hear that nice crust. See those nice air holes that came? Just really quick like that. So that's how you make an all-purpose yeasty dough that's good for almost everything. My name is Rob Barrett. You're watching Cooking for Dads. Cook well. It's worth it.